Hi, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in Photoshop Elements looking at some of the basic tools in the program. Probably the most common use for Photoshop Elements is in simple photograph color correction or fixing of your photo. We have a picture here. It's a very nice kind of nostalgic picture of two kids playing in the grass. It's got kind of a greenish tint to it. It can use some correction. Maybe it's not entirely clear. Maybe some of the whites are washed out or the lighter colors are washed out in the picture. Let's do some basic adjustment. Now, along the toolkit here, along the left side of the program, you'll see a huge number of tools that I go through step by step every one of the tools and show you how to use to uh, enhance or to change your photo and these include everything from this wonderful little tool here one of my all-time favorites the spot healing brush I'm just going to zoom in here this is very effective if you have some dust or some sort of spot in your picture that you want to remove some flaw this is a great tool that does most of the work automatically all you need to do is just sort of paint over it so see this little dot here on your shirt I'm just gonna paint over it and just like that it's gone the program automatically gathers information from the surrounding pixels and colors it in for you and it automatically removes that's one of my favorite cleanup tools here and if you've got an old photo where there's a lot of scratches and dust in it this is a great way to get rid of those so these tools each one of these has a great function for somehow enhancing or improving the photo. But let's go over to the Enhance menu. And here you'll see so many tools for correcting and fixing your picture, including a number of tools here that are automatic. So if I select Automatic Fix, let's see what it does if we just select Automatic Fix. It made some adjustments to color, some to lighting, and it sharpened the picture a little. And that may be acceptable. I'm going to Control Z or Command Z to undo that. So. Underneath here are a number of tools under Adjust Color for improving color, for shifting, you know, getting rid of color tints. And under Lighting, some simple basic lighting tools like Brightness and Contrast, Shadows and Highlights. Shadows and Highlights can be very effective if, for instance, you take a picture of a bird flying through the sky and the brightness of the sky washes out the color of the bird. You can use shadows highlights to bring down the contrast between the brightest and the darkest points in your photo and it will make uh, some of those details come out even though they're in shadow so a lot of really cool tools in here but i want to show you my favorite tool for adjusting color or for correcting color and strangely it's not under the adjust color options but under adjust lighting and that is levels now levels is a very very advanced tool this little graph here actually represents the range of colors that are in the photo. And you can see we can set it to either do each of the red, green, and blue channels individually or to do them as a whole. And this chart says that we have very little really black areas in the photo and we have very few really light areas in the photo. Most of our color, most of our pixels are represented by sort of this gray area in between. You have these little eyedroppers here. These are called samplers. I'm going to select the first sampler here. This is black. And I'm going to find the blackest area in the photo, which happens to be right inside this girl's sweater here. I'm going to click on that. That tells the program to automatically shift everything so that this pixel that I selected represents black, black pure black and you notice it did shift the color a little bit now watch I'm going to go to the sampler for white and I'm going to go to the whitest point in this picture which happens to be the white on this boy's shirt and when I select that it's going to take out any color casts and make this color white white and then shift the color for the entire photo based on that level of white I can also adjust sort of the gray point this little middle marker here and I can slide it back and forth and make the photo just a little darker, just a little lighter, and we'll click OK. So here's what the photo looks like with my color adjustments to it. I'm just going to Control Z or Command Z here to undo it so you can see the before and after. This is the before. You can see very, very greenish. Control Y or Command Y to go forward. And this is the correction. My correction brings out a little more of the reds. Uh, there's There are fewer of the yellow and greens in this photo and now we have a somewhat richer photo just based on you know what 
the original photo was that was scanned in here, this probably looks much better. So as you can see, Photoshop Elements is just loaded with tools here for making color corrections and color adjustments. I've only scratched the surface here. The book goes into much greater detail. There are so many tools in here, some of them automatic and some of them manual. But this is really the program's long suit. This is what it was designed to do in its earliest incarnations and what it just gets better and better at doing every generation. I'm Steve Rossetti. Thanks for joining me here for the first three sessions. Hope you'll join me for part four of our eight-part basic training with Photoshop Elements.